So you click on this network list, then you come to hard network. So on the hard network, that's where we start our task because you need to set up Kanto network on the MetaMask wallet. So what's the name of the network? I copy it, I paste. The name of the network is Kanto. Okay, I copy, I paste. Next, what's the RPC URL? URL. copy I paste was the chain ID 7700 I copy I paste was the symbol the token symbol it's also called currency symbol it's still the same as Canto then finally was the URL for the block explorer will be to scan your wallet if to know the transactions going on then what do you do you save I've loaded the wallet now okay and we're on Canto now so zero Canto how do we now start we now go to the first task after we have added the network settings which is how the bridging goes so you can bridge if you want to bridge from your Ethereum tokens, it supports currently Canto supports bridging from anything uh, that has to do with Ethereum, but some tokens which are USDT, USDC, and uh, wrapped Ethereum. So hopefully they work on it as time goes on. So we we are working on that. Okay. So now it has connected me, okay? But it will tell me with this red write up, which is generate public key, and is the most important thing. You have to generate public key, else you won't succeed in this. So click on generate public key while we await MetaMask approval, okay? Okay, it's asking me to sign in, so sorry. switch network okay good we are good now now we are now to choose the tokens we want to bridge load tokens that's select token so you see for now usdc usdt and wrapped ethereum so but i don't have any token of such assuming i have that's what i'll do on ethereum i want to bridge in atom which has to do with Kepler wallet and not MetaMask. So once you select your token, you select the amount, then you bridge in into Canto network. Okay. You must I want to bridge in Atom this time around. Atom itself. So all right. Here's where my atom is residing. So I have 3.5 atom available. So I want to move it now to Canto chain. Now this is the next thing to do. You come to the top left. Then on your top left, you go to add Canto to Kepler. That is, you know, we have added manually Canto chain to MetaMask. But now we want to move it to Kepler and not MetaMask this time around because we need the two. The two work uh, interwovenly, just like Edmos. If you know Edmos uh, chain very well, you know Edmos work with MetaMask and it works with Kepler perfectly. So that's what we are doing here. So you are going to add Canto to Kepler. So when you click it, it should bring out an option to add Canto chain to your Kepler wallet because without this, it won't help us on the next phase. Okay, so I'm trying to add now. 
it's not responding and i know the reason why is because i've added it earlier but just take note you click here and when you click it it, sh it shoots out your kepler wallet approval option then you you approve it so it adds so when you now had you, you come to this place to this kepler now i want to show you the next thing that will happen now you see this is cosmos orb okay which shows atom click on it it will pop down list of networks which i've added and the ones that have been pre-added uh, while uh in in the app itself in the in the extension itself but this one that the one i added myself that's why i can delete it you can see the x there but i'm scrolling down to where it's it installed canto you see canto minutes now it's there it has been added automatically okay so it's empty right now but this is another important part that i need to emphasize on so people don't make mistake the address here we discover that is different even though you are using the same passphrase for your metamask and for your kepler the address that will be generated on the kepler wallet which is for canto is different from the one that will be generated on this particular place take note of it can you see the one generated on this bridge platform is the correct one that you must deposit to else you will lose your funds don't do that this is it so you click on it you see copy address copied that is the only place you should deposit your canton to s or any token you are bridging to canton network else you lose your phone so no use the one on kepler but it's important that we add it to the kepler wallet why i will show you why now come to this side this top left on your kepler wallet click it you will see what we call settings click on that settings you see what we call show advanced ibc transfers then you put it on you can see it's already been put on here because i've used it before but for a fresh start you will see it off so put it on then go back what next do we do now we will now go back to our atom we want to send atom go to cosmos up to what to canton chain now take note of it you scroll down scroll down on your kepler wallet you will see ibc transfer you are seeing it here because you have already added uh, allowed it in the settings else it won't show here so you might be looking for it and you didn't see it in your home you have to go to your settings first and put it on so click on transfer so when you click on transfer it will ask you that which chain if you are familiar with Kepler wallet very well, you can send your atom to any chain. You can send it to Juno. You can send it to Edmos. You can send it once it's allowed, allowed there. You can send it to Osmo chain. But here we are sending it to Kanto chain. How do we do that? You now click on destination shape chain, the, the destination chain that is going. Click on it. You will see Kanto main net here, but on your own, you will not see it. Reason is that I added this manually. So how do you do it? You click on new IBC transfer channel. When you now click on new, you now select which chain. You click on it. You now scroll down to the newest chain you just added, which is what? Canto mainnet. Now you see the reason why we had to click this add Canto to Kepler so that we can save it. Else, if you don't save it, it will not display here. It is not because we need the address on Kepler. We don't need the address on Kepler. We don't need the address on Kepler. We don't need the address on Kepler. What we need is the ability to be able to add Canto Mainnet to our IBC transfer because we are sending our atom there. Now, what do you now write in your channel ID? This channel ID is another most important part of Kepler. Without it, you will not get to where you are going. So what is the channel that you are using? The channel we are using is channel, see, iPhone just one three five eight can you see take note of that channel i think three five eight so you now save so i don't need to save again since i have it already here so i'll now click it you can see channel three five eight canto minutes so i click it then i'll proceed to my recipient who is my recipient i place my address now take note you need to check again that you are not sending to a wrong canto address so when i check this last three or last five 
um, um, alphanumerics characters here. I see six H C three A, and I look at this. I see six H six C three A. So that shows I'm sending to the right place. So I pick on next, then I I take it top to type in the amount. So I'm sending three point four T nine. So I'll be able to have gas to run the transaction. So that is sending to Canto minutes. Now take note. Once I send it three point forty nine, we will see it there. So now let's once it's done. Okay, check it out. It will leave now. To leave now. To leave now. All right, it's gone. So let's see the deduction. We are waiting for the deduction. Okay, so we still have uh, this tiny fraction there. Now let's see. We now go to, you know, this bridge is for moving Ethereum tokens to Canto Mainnet, but I don't have Ethereum. I have. Uh, um, Kepler that is Cosmos token which is Atom then I have bridged it through IBC transfer to Canto chain so it's already there but how do I see it I'll now come to convert coin now that's the last phase where we are going now take note of something when you bridge anything when you bridge anything it goes to Canto Cosmos chain and not Canto um, MetaMask. You won't see it on MetaMask. You know, MetaMask is built on Ethereum virtual machine. So that's why I call it EVM. So you won't see it on EVM yet, but it's already on your Canto network. How do we now see it? That is a convert coin. All right, it's showing me now. You can see it. 3.49 it's just due to my system delay that's why it's still showing connect wallet it's not supposed to be showing connect wallet anymore now it's showing 3.49 that will bridge now it's already on canto chain but the cosmos um, you know type the cosmos type the kepler type now i want to move it max i want to move it to the one that will be showing on metamask wallet that is the purpose of this convert so I'm converting now. I'm converting now. Okay. All right. So Okay, you are successfully okay gas all right now let's continue with our lessons um from this we can see that it says it failed why because of gas fee and that's where we are going now that's where we we need to you know take our lesson to the next level and that's what i want to show us here in our text now if you you will need a faucet which is also called your gas gas fee the gas fee sent to us that's 0 0.075 is not enough so this is their discord link so you open your join their discord and when you join their discord you paste in your ethereum address there where they will send you enough gas for you to run your transaction I can remember that you need 0 0.25 to start afresh but to save that time I'll be sending it from one wallet to another wallet so let me go to the wallet that has Canto this is this is what will save me from delay so the best thing is you have enough gas that's where you have, you may have another issue so take note of the second issue that people mm, uh, do encounter so either you ask from a friend or you go to their discord 
from your Discord, you just paste in the social faucet channel and immediately the moderator is online, he will send it. He will send it at least one canto because you need 0 0.5 or so. So that should be enough for the transaction. Okay. All right, it's done. So let's go back to our business. Right now we have our atom in our canto chain, but we want to turn it to atom on canto metamask token. So you see a balance on this side and we'll do the transfer. So Right, so let's uh, move on. Okay, so here's where you look at waiting for the transaction to be verified and it will be done. I can see one bug there. This is a bug. Say you have successfully bridged or converted 3.4 atom to EVM atom. So it's still the same atom, but one is working on with Kepler Cosmos World and the other one is working with MetaMask EVM World. So uh, one bug I said I noticed there is the connect wallet. It's not changing. It's not connecting me to any wallet. Well, it's there. So you can see it there now. It's there. Now this is what we need to do. Take note. The last phase is where you trade your uh, Canto tokens. They are main decks. They are only decks for now. The only decks that supporting Canto is sling short so you can copy it and you know run it and this is how you know that indeed that our uh, atom is now on evm canto chain or canto evm chain so we want to check on the slingshot decks now okay I click on signing that is for someone who is just uh, starting afresh or someone who changed is uh, who changes his wallet to another one like me so if I don't sign it will notice that I'm connecting another new wallet other than the one that uh, we used before so we are done we're done we're done okay so I sign in so okay let's go so we are on Canto because you can check it supports Arbitrum supports BNB it supports optimism, osmosis, and uh, I think one more polygon. So, but we are staying on Canto chain. So, what do we now want to swap to Canto? We want to swap our Atom. That's the last place. You can see this is Atom. I have 3.49 Atom, which is almost $42. So, I'm swapping it to Canto to finalize my. Okay, I'm going to approve it. Right, so it's asking me to swap to 120.94. Okay, now see the gas. That's why I said you need 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus. So at least 0 0.35 should be enough to complete a bridge and you know swap your token to Canto, whatever you bridge in to Canto. Okay, so it's done. We now have 120 Canto. 
let's go and check and see you see Woo! we're done we're done 